What's up guys? Welcome back to the Montyverse. We are here to check out a brand new episode of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. And last week's episode ended pretty crazy. Pretty crazy and on a cliffhanger. That cliffhanger was thrown so aggressively on my face that I don't even know what to do right now. That sounds like it hurts, but you know it what did we, hurt. But you know what we should do though. What should we do? Watch the next episode. You're right, starting episode five <laughs> of Percy Jackson right now. Back in Jersey, I told you. Gross, to Jersey! Yeah. Instinct, sorry. It's instinctive. Uh, I mean, it makes sense because it is inferior. True. Just breathe. I wish we could just see what that thing is. A little octopus thing. I mean, maybe we will. People put the name of it in the comments last episode, and I appreciate all of you for that. <laughs> I just don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to. Maybe they'll do it for us at some point. True. Maybe they'll spell it out phonetically for me. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, that's going to get attention. Just a little bit. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, man. We should probably get out of here, don't you think? Oh, man. Oh. That's just as creepy as it is in Hercules. It's very creepy. Let's go find Percy. And if he's alive. Did they not see the typhoon? Did they not see <laughs> the the mystical space typhoon rise what? from the water? Well, that's the key word, mystical. Maybe they don't see that part of it. I just wanted to say that because that's also a Yu-Gi-Oh card, continuing my, my theme from last week. I mean, that's a great theme, though. True. Nice, he's safe. <laughs> hey. Hi. She doesn't even look relieved. She's just so confused. Yeah, well, even hearing myself say that sounds really bad. But I hope she hits him I just, right in the face. I knew you never agree, and there wasn't enough time. Oh, oh! oh uh, now that's a swerve. Didn't see that coming. Aww. That's cute. It is very cute. She should have hit him, though. That would have been funny. Maybe she will. No. Don't no. hold your breath. So. Awkward. <laughs> Awkward. Not as dead as we thought you'd be. <laughs> that's a good line. We need to go to Santa Monica. My father's going to meet me there. He's going to help us. Neptune. Hanging around Santa Monica, California. You mean Poseidon? Oh, Poseidon, sorry. <laughs> The Roman version is Neptune. Isn't that going to make it hard for us to get on a train? Or a bus? <laughs> or really anything you need tickets for? Yeah, if they think you're a domestic terrorist, yes. It will be very hard. Yeah. Even if you are kids. Oh, oh God. Get to walk in. Hey, guys. You know what would come in handy? A centaur. Yes. Than we thought. Yeah, but then that's a lot of miles for a centaur. That's true. I mean, mm. we don't even know who actually stole the thing. Or why. <laughs> Or how deep this goes. It's a mystery. That's, that's, if you know who it is, oh, no. kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So dumb, Percy. <laughs> Maybe when we started, my head wasn't fully in this, but since the river, it all feels different somehow. I was gonna say, it hasn't been that long. Uh, we don't know how long they've been walking. That's, oh yeah, shoot, you're, that's true. Like, even what they like, it looks like they've been walking for hours at least. I really never mm. thought that's something he'd do for me. Based off sun so maybe position. I take things more seriously. Well, I'm talking about for when he still figured out all this stuff for the first time. So he had a near-death cathartic experience that took away his daddy issues. Mm. I'm saying we're not just trying to retrieve a thing. I think we might need to be detectives here too. Ah. Hmm. Yeah. I know a good one that you could call. Pikachu. I know two good ones that you could call. Hero. Yes, you You've been weird since. Nope. We still two. The Dark Knight <laughs> detective, but he's back in New York. It doesn't have to be a thing, you know? They hug me. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're making it one. You're definitely making it a thing. When you see a string cut, it means one of us is going to die. Dark. We're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's so deep. A, we need to talk about this whole fate. Three old ladies with a ball of yarn can't know what's going to happen. Mm. Oh, what? And I can choose to do anything I want. Need some help? I know who that is! You think been, you know me? You've been waiting for him. Da, 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 da. Pardon? I asked if you could use some help. <laughs> Spear him, Edge! No, we're we're good. Appreciate you asking though, so long. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? Because you guys are so behind schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Love them already. Love them already. I mean, summer solstice. It's also a great shot away. the way they're just coming in and out of frame. Yes. Aries. Ooh. You must be Athena's kid. Wow. Oh no, it's Clarice's dad. Why would you? Zeus sent all of his kids out looking for the master bolt too. Listen, dummies, I'm hungry. <laughs> 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 yeah. Don't wait Don't for Don't dawdle. <laughs> He's so sick. 
Yeah. Look at that jacket. I was gonna say, like, how is that? I'd be nervous about that getting caught in the engine or something. I would, I would buy one of those right now. <laughs> Dude, your cousin's sick. Mm. That's the kind of cousin that would buy you like a beer. <laughs> Even though they're kids. Yeah, it's the kind of cousin that would take you to see in like R-rated movie. Ah, better. <laughs> Oh, God. I guess this is the right place. What is happening? That's just mountains of food. Give me a second. Um, I'm just um, starting to fight on Twitter. Oh, here. my God. That's what Maybe I thought they were going to do. Old fashioned that is so fucking clever. The God of War is a, is a troll. Oh, yeah. On Twitter. He's a Twitter troll. Oh, my God. I love that. What's he doing? Wait for it. A kid that messed up. What wouldn't he do? Yeah, twelve year olds. They're accusing him of matricide? Bring a picture around. Camaro. I really we really love that car. <laughs> oh my god. So much. What a scumbag. I know. I'm gonna kill him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't say that right now. <laughs> Whether the bolts retrieved or not, Zeus is going to war with Poseidon. Seems dumb. Very dumb. War. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Into a million pieces and chucked them into a bottomless pit. So that kind of set the tone right out of the gate. <laughs> <laughs> we will push anyone. Down my God, he's so good. Ahead. And that's why I love my. <laughs> <laughs> feels it's just time for a war. So we're going to have a war. Look at his eyes. So good. So frantic. So into it. So like, so just like alive. Okay. The trooping was funny to me for a minute. <laughs> Ooh. So we have a deal or am I killing all three of you so I can eat in peace? Bro. You're the one that invited them there. <laughs> Should you be screaming that out loud? I really do need that shield back. So I'm going to keep the satyr here as collateral so you don't run off. What? No. <laughs> what? He's like, yeah, just so I don't have to go. We don't split up again. It's okay. He's like, I really don't feel like going anyway. He's <laughs> like, I'm really hungry. <laughs> Oh, wait, don't leave without eating. Dude, that's so mean. I know what I'm doing. Go, get the shield. I'll be here when you get back. Yeah, eating and, <laughs> like, drinking, like, soda pops. Is it soda pop or just soda? A, a, a nice little pop. Gotta get a pop in there. If you say so. Everyone's got a pop face where they just call it <laughs> pop. I haven't seen a lot of horror movies, but this seems like exactly the kind of place they suggest to avoid. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. I've never seen any kind of movie. That sucks. Aww. Well, now that Russ is dead in a few days, we really ought to fix that. Yeah, yeah. Percy, you tell her. This guy's got game. We probably get this over with, though. She's like, I will kill you. She's like, <laughs> I will punch you. Wait, Percy, stop. What? Yeah, that was too oh, easy. What is this, Just Shaw? Just well, no, because Jigsaw didn't come out yet. That's Celestial Bronze. Oh. Fascinating, Annabeth. What is happening right now? <laughs> You're a monster or demigod? What's it doing there? Oh, so that's why his that's how his sword works. Okay. What kind of god builds amusement parks? How Festus? I want a Festus build. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he finds them amusing. <laughs> <laughs> Push through it. Push? Yep. I mean, might as well do something. Sure. Hephaestus wanted to know any time one of us came poking around this playground. I guess now he knows. Interesting. Mm, very. Interesting technology. <laughs> <laughs> so are we just all Aries? <laughs> Probably. We've met before. Been around a long time, little boy. I've met a lot of people. I'm 24. <laughs> <laughs> we met at the solstice. On Olympus? Oh, protester. Oh, I was <laughs> the protesters. <laughs> what? I'm a fan. I think you got me mixed up with someone else, kid. No, I don't. Is he serious or is he sweet talking? He's 100% sweet talking. Maybe unpleasant, but that doesn't make it untrue. You are the champion. All of that. So, what are you, like a casual World War II buff? <laughs> <laughs> nice. He's such a troll. I love it. I like your mellower stuff. <laughs> Something cool about overwhelming force and a quick surrender. <laughs> He's so amazed. This is fantastic. This is so good. 
so tell me where we met again. <laughs> just a cocky, arrogant prick, just like all the other gods. I know. He loves hearing him Man. suck up to him. Good for Grover. Grover's getting a dub this episode. Much needed. Mm -hmm. Ares has always had a thing with Aphrodite. <laughs> She's the best as his wife. Oh. oh, you're kidding. He met her here? In her husband's car? <laughs> oh, that's, that's all levels of effed up. Yep. And he had to leave in a hurry. We got to drop the shields. One thing Ares was telling the truth about, this family is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, oh no. I weird about this. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I can feel you thinking it. <laughs> that's weird. This must be where Ares and Aphrodite got caught. The shield must be in there. It's pretty cute. Yeah. Let's go check out the scary ghost ride. Why not? Pretty dumb. <laughs> I just really like this. Oh no, absolutely. The awkwardness is very entertaining. <laughs> what is love? Oh! <laughs> what is happening right now? Wait, if he already has his braces off now, he's lucky. But I guess he's half a god. She said this is what the gods are like to each other. Mm. Like, ugh. That sucks. They suck. They're all just dicks. She was trying to keep me away from you guys. Mm. Smart woman, again. Again, it's Sally <laughs> Jackson. Do we, do we not realize that she is the most intelligent person on this show? Oh, bro. Aww. So when you got to us, you be different than this. True. The Gandhi method. Be the change you want to see in the world. Oh. What a weird place to leave your shield. Yeah. Oh no, can she not swim? Oh god. Or is it just the current? Use your water powers. Oh! It's like a water Kamehameha. <laughs> These poor kids, man. They just get them so cold and wet on this show. I know. Just always dumping gallons of water on them. Oof. Did you just pull me out of there with that water power stuff? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. So water bender. Did you just? I don't know. I hate kids. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my own kids. Uh, maybe less than other kids, but still. <laughs> <laughs> what I made. What are butterflies for? My knee hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Bold enough to cross Zeus is stealthy enough to get their hands on the en thing. Enough. <sighs> Not everything is a puzzle that needs to be solved. You're about as my sister. <laughs> Weird. Was she always like that? Who? Your sister. Athena. <laughs> mm. What do you mean? Always making things more complicated than they need to be so people will think she's smarter than you. <laughs> oh, reverse psychology. Or I guess just regular psychology. Thank you. I can't be <laughs> right. Feels that way sometimes. <laughs> seriously, she's the smart one? Really? If she's so smart, explain the owl. She talks to it. <laughs> and we're so sure that she's a genius and I know Al. <laughs> no Al. Tell them so. Exactly. Like you being the one to find the lightning thief and not her. He plays his hand too much. Mm. We both know your friend didn't steal the bolt. But Zeus thinks he did. Which oh. is kind of all that matters, right? Shut up. <laughs> oh, man. It was a gift. He's playing 4D chess, I think. I, I hope. I do too. One of us goes in, the other gets the shield. I'll do it. Oh, Wait shit. A Whoever goes in isn't coming out. When I was choosing my team, I told Chiron I needed someone who wouldn't hesitate to sacrifice me if the quest required. That was you. Oh. You were right. I can't believe it, but the fates were right. <laughs> oh, idiots. The Oracle chose you. The gods chose Stop. you. It isn't about that. What could it possibly be about if it isn't about that? You're better at this than me. It's wild how, like, dark this show is. These two kids are literally fighting for the opportunity to cut, to Please. sacrifice themselves. Whoa, it's like Endgame. True. I just don't see it. But yeah, in all seriousness, that, they juggle the tone so well. Yeah. Because it's very funny, but then you have moments like this. If you, like, the, the bare bones of this scene is incredibly dark. I was gonna say when this quest is done, can you maybe swing back here and try to get me out of this thing? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair request. You think you had to ask? 
Oh, that's a little. It's kind of cute. Little. Little cute flirtatiousness going on. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Percy, stand up. I mean it. It's okay. I'm okay. Oh, God. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, I guess he's dead. Oh, she does machines. She probably should just open with this. <laughs> I'm not leaving without my friend. Yeah, that isn't really how it works. It's kind of a one-way sort of thing. It can't be undone. How do you know? Because I built it. Oh, it's Tim Amundsen from Psych. And the DCOM, Luck of the Irish. Whoa, good memory. Whoa, I love I Carlton Lasseter from Psych. And if you are going to help me, could you maybe... Leave me alone so I can focus. Oh. oh! My mother might have told you, I am not someone who will be pushed around. I know your mother was displeased with you recently. We both know how she gets. Talk about mothers, <laughs> but dude. this was a lot. Even for her. You walk out of here with that shield, and you're a hero. On your way to the greatest glory. And you will be forgiven. Oh! No, we'll go back to being as it always has been. Eat or be eaten. Power and glory and nothing else matters. Hell yeah! <laughs> Aries is that way. Zeus is that way. My mother is that way. Yeah, you tell him. Break the chain. Break the wheel. <laughs> I won't be like all of you. I just won't. Man, Percy like... So Percy is kind of like the Superman of this world. I would say so. He brings out the best in other people, and that is his main ability... He's optimistic. He can see what's wrong about how things are. He wants to fix it. And also good for the new generation for calling out these old idiot gods. Yeah. And how much they suck. <laughs> oh, shoot. Whoa. He's like, you're done already? <laughs> Some of us don't like being that way either. <laughs> you're a good kid, Annabeth. I'll put in a good word with your mom for you. Aww. Nice. Solid. That's how you do it. That's how you get it done. Half-blood style. <laughs> I love how these people, just no one cares about all these kids in this bar. <laughs> just casually walking in and out, bringing shields. Hey, that woman's trying to play some tunes. That's fair. Here's your shitty shield. What's that ride? Nice. <laughs> Kindness International. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's better than walking. It's true. Hermes hangs out there. You play your cards right. Ooh. This personal driver can get you to LA in minutes. That's it. <laughs> Close, cash. Nice. Hermes. I'd wish you luck, but what good would it do you? <laughs> fail. Don't worry. Your dad had plenty of kids he stopped caring about once he lost interest. Hmm. Not nah, cool. Company. We're not gonna fail. I'm getting pretty tired of you saying it. Percy, Ooh. you think you know who I am, but you don't. You don't, you don't think, you think you know me? You're gonna find out. Spear image. Percy. <laughs> let's not endorse that, please. No, spe that's his move. That's oh, his finisher. Sorry. <laughs> you should spear him. Ride. We're gonna take you up on that. Fight him. Fight that little kid. Fight. I just want to see Edge fight this little kid. Hey, do you think we could get some paper towels or something? It's not that nice in here. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a dick. He was holding something back. How do you know? Because I think I got it out of him. <laughs> nice. I know who stole the Master Bowl. What? Nice. Oh. Go over for the dub. You're not going to tell us? You're not going to tell us? I mean... We already know to expect cliffhanger, so... I feel like I'm also on this quest and I'm being left out of all of the important conversations. That just means that you care, though. And that's a good sign. I want to know, Grover, is it Athena? Did she steal it? Oof. Awkward. I, I doubt it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember, to be perfectly honest. At this point, I think everything that I remember is... We've passed by it already. So I'm just as surprised as you are. Main takeaway from this episode? Edge. Adam Copeland... Formerly known as FKA Edge from WWE, 
currently known as the rated R superstar, <laughs> Adam Copeland. Fantastic. He was great in this. He was so charismatic. And he, I like, love this interpretation of Ares. Mm -hmm. It's so different from the Ares that like, the, probably the most famous one recently is Ares, obviously, in Wonder Woman. Yeah. Um, very different interpretation of Ares. Even like other other companies like Mar like Marvel has an Ares. Very different from all of those other interpretations of Ares, even the, the Greek mythology Ares. Mm -hmm. His Ares is definitely a modern retelling of that. Uh, but here's my other big takeaway from this episode, and I think he very much encapsulates it, is that the gods come off so human, and unfortunately that means they're huge dicks, but I think really a lot of this is just an extended metaphor for the shittiness in some families. Yeah, no, it's absolutely, it's, it's, it's um, an overarching theme of this series is family, like, petty, like drama it's, it's, and it's, mistreatment. It's familial damage to the psyche. Like it's, it's mm -hmm. dark family drama. Whoa. What is happening? Whoa! No. Also, this this series is cool. It's like episode guest star of the week episode. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. And I they think... did a really great job of curating a great cast of like really fun and different and interesting actors to portray the gods I, and goddesses. Absolutely, because a lot of them I'm not super familiar with and I think aren't necessarily like the biggest names possible, but it's so nice when you have these nice surprises of actors you wouldn't necessarily expect or fan cast, but they're all, I don't think anyone has been a letdown. I think everyone has been fantastic as has as was Edge this episode. Yeah, I think a lot, you know, a lot, I, I've known every single guest star so far because I, um, I watch a lot of TV, I guess, and movies, <laughs> but um, they're all they're all really good character actors. Mm -hmm. um, and I think Edge really, outside of Money Plane, <laughs> uh, this, uh, this is another one of and Edge. And what's funny is like all of them appeared on CW shows too. Oh. Even Edge, Edge was Edge uh, was on an episode of The Flash as Adam Smasher. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty funny. I was gonna say maybe like that's the brand they were going for is like that CW like melodrama superhero. Well, this is a lot. Uh, listen, I'm a DC Comics fan. I grew up reading DC Comics. This is a lot higher in quality uh, <laughs> in in comparison to like the CW verse, the Arrow verse. Mm -hmm. um, not to say that those weren't good at, a, at one point because they were, right. but then they got bad pretty quickly. I'm just saying, like maybe they're going like for some kind of vibe like that. Yeah, and I also think a lot of these <laughs> actors are probably working around where they filmed. I'm assuming they filmed in some place in Canada. Yeah. And a lot of these ac actors frequent their edges. Canadian. Uh, I don't think he lives in Canada at the moment. Um, mm -hmm. I think he lives in the in the United States, but you know he's Canadian, so mm -hmm. you know, very easy for him to get there. But really great this episode. Love love the modern interpretation of of uh, Ares being an internet troll, <laughs> a Twitter troll. Um, that's just perfect. Uh, quintessentially perfect. And I love how his character helps to develop the character of Grover, which was really cool. Oh man, that whole scene alone, like that. I mean, the rest of the episode was great, but like that might be the star of the episode is just that conversation between the two of them and just the way that Grover was trying to appeal to him. It was so, I, it's a kid for one of the standouts of the episode for sure. Absolutely. And, and I kept thinking the whole time, like, okay, we as the audience know Grover's playing it. Like we, <laughs> we as the audience were led to believe through the camera work and through just our interactions with Grover up to this point that Grover is attempting to mentally manipulate Ares. And for all intents and purposes, we as the audience thinks it works because we're ro rooting for Grover to win this <laughs> this uh, mental fortitude, this battle of mental fortitude. But part of me is like, I wonder if Ares knows he's playing him. Right. And he's reverse Unoing him right now. I was going to say, honestly, the more I think about it, any regardless of the interpretation of that scene, even if you think that it's completely sincere, it's great no matter what. Yeah. I just, I just found that really interesting because mm -hmm. that's, it's an interesting way to frame it because... It almost invokes my sense of, huh, oh, there's a twist coming. Like, my, the twist, my twist senses. And it definitely came, like, as soon as he brought up the bolt. Yeah. Because I didn't know how Ares was going to react. And you can kind of see that, like, maybe it's real. Maybe it's a performance mm -hmm. that Ares is doing. Like, uh, wh wh why would you say that? Or why would you, like... Right. Really interesting scene. But that just shows it's a really good scene. And there, there's some really good acting in that scene from the two of them. Oh, absolutely. So great. Um, the Annabeth and Percy stuff... They're, they're doing a really good job of slow burning. Yeah. They're, uh, I'm assuming they're, they're, they have a relationship at some point because it feels like they're, they're going in that direction. It's really, it's a really fascinating aspect to these two characters where 
you're essentially trauma bonding them. Mm-hmm. Like these, there are these two characters that are bonding over their trauma, their parent issues, mm-hmm. their, uh, they're essentially their abuse through neglect from their parents. How they, they're both essentially like running headfirst into battle, mm-hmm. constantly trying to to self sacrifice themselves. Right, and they both are also grappling with the feeling of acceptance, but also wanting to stand on their own two feet yeah. and not wanting to expect anything from their parents, which is such a toxic and like. Ro- <laughs> Roller coaster pun of a mindset to just experience all the time. Yeah, because I was really afraid that Annabeth was kind of going to be very one note in the beginning. Like, she was going to mm-hmm. be the rigid, like, hard ass, like, stick to the rules no matter what. Right. Um, And then eventually she melts and she, like, uh, she's like, I'm your friend now, guys. We're, be- we're all besties. Mm-hmm. But the slow burn of this is really good because we we started to see shades of that last episode and more of this episode. And it's kind of like... Yeah, we're friends, but you know what? What you said is kind of right. And mm-hmm. if either of us are going to do this, I guess it would be me. Right. And honestly, I, I can't say enough to Leah Jeffries just for her performance. Because she she does play it that way, but she I feel like she does add kind of that nuance and a little bit of that attitude. Like that eyebrow art she gave to Aries at the beginning. Her, I was about to say, her facial expressions are fantastic. I know. And I think that really adds to why she is beyond just any kind of stereotype or one note or single character trait. Yeah, I She says a lot with her face and with her eyes. And I Mm -hmm. think that's very impressive for such a young talent. Um, We we talk a lot about Walker when we talk about these episodes. But Mm -hmm. I I think it it has to be said how she's... Because, again, the first two episodes that were with her, she's kind of very... Like, her her dialogue is very one note in the sense of she's kind of pushing them Mm -hmm. in a direction. But she says a lot with her... When she's not speaking. Right. And I think that what they've also done very masterfully is keep a very consistent characterization while still evolving and like very gradually, like you said, introducing like nuances and layers. And I think it's, especially with kids, I can't even imagine. So props to everyone from the performers, from the writers and everything else. All three of these kids are tasked with a tremendous amount of work. Mm-hmm. making this show because yeah these are these are action heavy dialogue heavy mm-hmm. movement heavy episodes like there's a lot of walking mm-hmm. and running and fighting and right. maybe not in this episode per se but in general it's physically demanding it's physically demanding yet the, this episode really should let them showcase their acting abilities yeah like, it's just really impressive how they were able to find three talented people mm-hmm. to portray the three leads of this show because they, they're Listen, th- this episode impressed me. I think all three of them had really strong dialogue scenes and had really strong, like, interactions. I think this just goes to show that in making this adaptation, the creators and especially Rick Riordan were not going to half-ass anything. No, it definitely shows that a lot of TLC was put into finding the right people. And so far, I mean, I'm not a reference. <laughs> I can't say yes or no, but I'm assuming... That they did a great job because I'm really enjoying these characters. And honestly, even if it deviates, we're get, still getting a good show out of it. A great show, honestly. Like, it's so refreshing to see a, essentially like a Gen Zer. Like, Percy, <laughs> we're assuming this is set in modern times. It may not be. It may be a period piece set in the early to mid-2000s. Either way, to see a young kid who was as, like, philosophical and emotionally mature as Percy Jackson is in this show mm-hmm. is so refreshing. I was going to say, it's probably not that long ago because of Twitter. Um, so you're right. <laughs> but either way, I do think it is a strength that there's not an overemphasis on this were, This was how the times were at this yeah. exact period. And like, oh, millennials, like crazy Gen Z stuff. Like, uh, no, it's uh, it's kind of timeless in a lot of ways. And it's not a dig at millennials. I, will, I assume we are millennials or I, I am right. at least. I, or Gen Zers or Gen Xers. It's it's me saying like, we, we finally got a kid character who's kind of not the comic relief or right. kind of not like written by an old person making fun of the younger generation. Right. Oh no, and that's why I'm that's why I'm saying is a strength of the show is yeah. that it's not falling into those traps. It's not falling into any stereotypes regarding kid characters or a time period or anything like that. If anything, it was making more fun of the adult in this episode. Yeah. There is there is there is a sense of timelessness in the sense of that it feels like it could take place any at any point from 2000 like onward. Yeah, easily. Like techn- just based off of technology, I don't think we could p- put it in the 90s cuz no. there's too much there's smartphones and there's mm-hmm. Things that just don't exist uh, back then. Right. So, But I do like that it's kind of outside of the technology. It's really hard to carbon date this series because they're just trying to tell 
an interesting story, and I really appreciate that. No, I completely agree. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest content. If you want to check out our other Percy Jackson reactions, click the link on the page. Until next time, guys, stay versed.